From the Visa Infinite Studio at the Toronto International Film Festival, this is Red Carpet Diary. Argo was a big hit at last year's festival, but not without controversy over historical accuracy. Well, our man in Tehran aims to set the record straight. The documentary features Ken Taylor, the Canadian ambassador in Iran, who sheltered the American diplomats and played a major role in their escape. You know, Ken, you have told this story over and over again. Um, your face is on a poster there. Do you ever get tired of telling and retelling this story? No, I don't think so. If you're running for political office, you get up and you push button A for a speech on public health, you push it there for education. The public are interested and they're generous and they, they like to hear it. Argo obviously had a big splashy premiere here at the festival <laughs> last year. What misconceptions do you think this film clears up that Argo may have put out there? The misconception is that Canada was more than peripherally involved. Uh, Argo was, everybody enjoyed it. I, I found it very dramatic. Uh, but it, it missed the basic point of the story, which this was a Canadian initiative. When the CIA called you up with this plan, it must have sounded crazy on the phone. Did you think that it was a wise plan? The CIA um, spoke about this with, with Ottawa. Um, the CIA never con contacted me directly because we didn't want, um, particularly myself, to be in some direct contact back and forth to CIA because they've got no right to tell me what to do. Um, and I don't mean to say that in a pejorative sense, but it was coordinated through Ottawa mm -hmm. so that my responsibilities were always taking into account the CIA's views with Ottawa. So when they thought about the movie, I was certainly hearing that from Ottawa all the time, our own projections. So when Tony Mendes came to Tehran, mm -hmm. um, I was already aware of what he had in mind and how it was going to work. And then we had provided all the documentation. What do you want Canadian audiences and American audiences to take away from this documentary? In Canada, uh, I'd like young Canadians to, to think, this is what our country can do internationally. This is what it means to work with the government. You've got scope, you've got excitement, you've got a sense of satisfaction. With respect to the, the U.S., it just reaffirms the relationship that it has with Canada. This isn't just a friendly neighborhood. This isn't just a parallel that there's no war fought about. Mm -hmm. It's a genuine partner. I'd hope that um, the U.S. citizens who see it would come away with that message. <laughs>